In this video installment, we're going to show you how Z-Plan and uh, CDK Evo, Lightspeed Evo, interact with each other. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go, we're going to open up Saturday 111, we're going to open up Clark Griswold, and we're going to go to New RO's waiting to schedule. All new jobs come in to New RO's waiting to schedule every time you refresh the DMS RO job data, which means anytime you pull the data over. So you can click on that, and you notice there's a lot of service writers in here. That's just simply because we're in a demo box with Lightspeed. Um, you also don't have to build your service writers underneath the employees section over here like we did with the mechanics in, in the previous videos. So we'll just go ahead and grab me as a service writer, and we'll go grab this CBR1000, and it says Diagnose Start, and we'll just go ahead and drag it over here. And again, notice the folders and the calendar operate independently from each other. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that and we're going to move it down here to in process and we're going to click move and we're going to click, click close and we'll close it. Now, while that mechanic is doing that, I'm going to go over to a different screen over here real quick and I'm going to add a job in the light speed. We're going to click add job. We're going to go to job general. We're going to go to title and we're going to go to um, starter R and R. We're going to go to the labor line. We're going to add labor. We're going to add the description. Starter R and R. We're going to quick click 25.5 hours. And we're going to click save. Now, I just saved that job in Lightspeed. Okay. And I'm going to come over here. And we're going to refresh DMSRO job data. And while it's doing that, we're just going to go ahead and grab it and take this off the calendar by sliding over there to in process. So now, again, it's, it's in, in process. You can put it wherever you want in the folders. And you can see it's connecting to the dealer management system. Pull complete. Here it is. We'll go to CR Gittery. And then here's that starter r, &R. Notice it's grayed out over here because it actually came in, because it's a new job, to new ROs waiting to schedule. So to combine them back up or to really put them where it needs to go next, you can just click on the little hamburger. Notice the RO is in two different folders because we separate them out by job. You can click job title for both and you can go ahead and combine them up by waiting on customer authorization. Click move, click close and notice it moved it right down to both, both jobs into waiting on customer authorization. Then, after the customer authorizes the job, we'll come down here, go forward a week, and we'll open up Clark Griswold on 1.6, and we'll just go ahead and schedule that row for 1.16, and there you go. It's scheduled for 1.16 once the customer authorizes it, and you can go to this little hamburger over here, and go like this, and you can go to waiting on parts and click move. Now that it's on waiting on parts and the calendar is closed, a couple of things. So it's in waiting on parts and say for instance today is January 15th. If it's three o'clock today, January 15th, and that repair order is in folder waiting on parts and on the calendar, it's going to give you an alert up here that says you've got a problem because you've got an RO in waiting on parts and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and you don't have the parts in. So your parts department can come in here and we're gonna just gonna collapse this down real quick. And I gotta get that RO number here, it's 301621. And say you turn Z-Plane over to your parts reception or your, your parts to service guy who, who receives the parts for service. So you can go in here and you can type 301621 and you'll notice it's in waiting on parts. So you can just click on that, go like this, and you can choose whether you want it to waiting to dispatch or in process, and it moves it. Now you know that those parts have been received, and you go ahead and it's okay to work on the job on 116. Now, once you close out a labor, once you close out all of the labor lines in Lightspeed, so if I go into Lightspeed and I close these two labor lines, it's going to take this RO from whatever folder it's in now, and it's going to move that thing right on down to 
waiting on customer pickup. So Lightspeed automatically moves a closed RO from, your, from any of these folders to waiting on customer pickup. Once you cashier the RO, it will automatically move the RO from these folders to cashiered last 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, however long you have it set. It will not remove it from the calendar. And that's by design. So that way you can look back in history and you can quickly see who did it and when in case you want to leave it on the calendar so that in case it's a quick comeback, you can, you can quick uh, uh, and put it right back on that same technician. So again, to recap, all ROs in real time come over from Lightspeed into new ROs waiting to schedule, and all new jobs come into new ROs waiting to schedule. And then you can split the job just like we did in subsequent videos on different days for different techs. Also, your customers come over. So if we go here, and I bet if I type in Smith, we'll find a Smith. Yeah, so here's a Dave, here's a Frank Smith. So all your customers also come over. So if you want to just set an appointment, you just type in Frank Smith. You select the service writer. You can retrieve your make and model from SMP, motorcycles, Yamaha 2016 FJ09, service schedule, miles and months for 8,000, select options in print, send a Z plan. So now you've just created a a appointment for, for that for that customer on that date, click Submit. Now, we're gonna to try to keep this video short. In the next video, I'll show you how to merge the two when you make an appointment for a customer and you need to merge the two records.